Okay, welcome back. Uh, one of the terms, or two of the terms that I threw out in the last video, I realized that I haven't really described yet, and that is population versus sample. These are things that you probably are sort of aware of, but they have pretty technical terms um, in, in, in statistics. And they're important to understand, it's important to understand the difference between them. Okay? So populations are all the people that share a set of characteristics. Okay, so uh, a good example of this, so this will be our, our, our population will be in this box right here. And let's say that our population is U.S. Ah, U.S. citizens. Okay, so all U.S. citizens are in this box. That's our population. Okay. One way to try to understand what the population is like is to go in and to select every single person in the population. So let's imagine that this is the whole population. The population is big, obviously much bigger than this. Okay. All these people are in our population. Okay, so one way to do it is to go in and try to select every single person. And that, when we do that, when we go through and we try to select every single person, which I'm not even going to try to do here. Well, I guess I will try to do it. When we do that, that's called a census. Census. And a census occurs, um, obviously the government runs a census. A census is very hard to pull off. Even every time the government tries to do it, they try to measure every single individual. So they send you stuff in the mail, they send people to your house, uh, you know, they stop you when you're trying to buy a cup of coffee, they show up at your school, right, and they ask you all these questions. How many people do you live with? How long have you lived here? How is your median income? Um, you know, all, all sorts of questions that the U.S. government is interested in. That's a census, and every year they miss people. Um, it's very, very, very difficult to do. In general, in psychology in particular, we, we don't do censuses. It's, it's too difficult. The censuses, it, it would just involve too much time, uh, too much money, and we just don't have the resources to do it. Instead, in statistics, what we try to do, or in psychology statistics in particular, is we go into a population, and we go in and we try to select a subset of the population subset of the population that we hope is representative of the population and that subset so these one two three four five, five people is a sample okay the sample if it's a good sample we say that it is representative if it's representative that means that the sample in general has the same sort of uh, characteristics as the population as a total, okay? So let's imagine that U.S. citizens, let's say that it's 60% female, it's not, but let's just imagine that that's true. In our sample, if our sample was representative, it would mean that three of the people would be female and two of the people would be male. That would represent this sort of fake uh, U.S. citizenship uh, census if we were to actually do it, okay? So in general, the census, when we uh, gather information from everyone, very, very difficult to do. Uh, we, we tend not to do it. Um, it just takes too much time and too much energy. Instead, what we do is sampling, where we hope that the sample is representative of the population. That's a good sample, is representative of the population. It has the same characteristics. Okay? All right. Now, when we collect data on a sample, okay, and we get numbers, right, that sort of summarize it, we call that a statistic. A statistic uh, is, is numbers that come from samples. So statistic S sample S. Now, on the other hand, when we draw all this information from a population, like we do, we do a census, right? So a population, when we get numbers that summarize information from the population, we call that a parameter. There are numbers 
that come from populations. So if we did a census and we knew that the mean income or the median income was some number, right, for the U.S. Uh, citizens, that actually wouldn't be a statistic. That would be a parameter, and parameters come from populations. So P to P, F to F. All right, so that takes us through uh, populations and samples. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for sticking with me.